Hi, I'm Carrie from Carrera Slots. We are a hobby store in Buffalo, Minnesota. You can find our products at carreraslots.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. Okay, in this video, what we're gonna do is show you how to uh, jump power on your track. So if you are adding a bunch of track or have uh, doubled, tripled the size of your original set, in this case we haven't, but I'm just using your original set as um, an example, uh, and you're noticing some dead spots, slower spots on your track, what you can do is get the item 20584 or 20585, it's called uh, additional supply. Um, and you can use these to distribute power more evenly around your layout. So all it is, um, the, all this product is, is wire and then uh, it comes with a wire, it comes with a little instruction booklet. Um, and what you do, it's color coded wire, which is makes it really simple. Um, and then there's also little, uh, springy clips that just slide into the bottom of the track. So Carrera makes it really simple to uh, do this. What you're gonna wanna do is start close to the control, as close to the control unit as you can, because this is where all your power is fed into. So you want to go, um, let's just say one piece away from the control unit, take that piece of track. If you flip it over, you'll see there's already little spots that you can uh, push these little clips into. So um, what you're gonna do is take this clip, and just push it into the rail. You don't have to solder, you don't have to tape, it just springs shut. So you are pushing it in and it stays in place. You can put a little piece of electrical tape or something down there if you want, um, just to hold it in place. But it's really nice the way that they have it set up because it just slides in and you're good to go. So you're gonna put uh, the yellow red here, the um, black and white on the next one. Okay, so we have that set. The next, um, the, the other important part of this, so once you have your track down, make sure you remember which lane that you're on. So um, uh, in this case, I have my yellow on my very outside rail and red on the inside rail on my outside lane. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that those stay consistent where you're jumping. So I wanna make sure that my yellow goes to my outside rail where I'm jumping. So this, in this case, you could go on the halfway points. Um, but if, they're, if your track is long, you can go every 30 or, uh, 30 or 40 feet or just jump directly to the spot that you're noticing power loss. So uh, but the important part is to remember which color goes on which lane because otherwise you could short out your track if you're um, connecting those in, in, uh, in the wrong spot. So we'll connect that piece. Okay, so once you have them all plugged in, you can do whatever you want with the rail. If you have it sitting, in this case, we're on the floor, but if you have it on a table, you can drill little holes in the table, drop the cord underneath, you can hide it under grass mat, you can run it all along the track underneath if you want. Um, it, it really doesn't matter what you do with the wire as long as it's connected to the track properly. If you uh, end up needing to jump in multiple spots, this wire, the 20584 is um, a 10 meter cord and then the 20585 is 15 meters, which is a lot of wire. So if you want to jump in multiple spots, we do sell extra little clips that are um, the same as the uh, connection that Carrera has on the end of their wire. So all you'd have to do is cut the additional supply and then just pop these onto the end of the wire. So you still won't have to solder. Um, this is item DRS 1000 on our website. So um, those are kind of nice and uh, would keep you from needing to purchase multiple wires when you can probably jump two or three different spots just with uh, one of these items. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. For products like this and more, visit our website, carreraslots.com. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.